thank you for making the switch to the morning mess. Hi, Yashi Morning Mess, Joey Boy. Hi, Natasha Castles. And it's Anise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest hanging out with the Morning Mess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Valley of the Sun, Alina Baraz. Oh, Hello. Yes. Hi, hon. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I I'm good. And I'm excited because these are my two good friends here. I work with them every morning. They're very, very excited and nervous to interview you. Really? I'm a new fan. Okay. And I'm just loving everything I'm seeing and that I'm hearing. But you two, I don't know what's wrong with you, but why are you guys so nervous? Well, because, because. <laughs> this has been like a like an urban secret for a while until you started your Instagram account and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We're like, who is this awesome artist making this amazing, just eclectic, just different music than what was out at the time. For you, I guess, having your music out there first before people were able to see your image or whatnot, what's kind of like the craziest thing you've heard about yourself or read about yourself? Um, I think someone showed me this page once that I just like got everything reconstructed. Uh, that's what I wanted to I ask you about. Yeah. Wait, you showed me that. Be and then I found, people, well, you tell your story. I was confused <laughs> with, me, with me with another artist. And so they started saying like, oh, yeah. she just got everything reconstructed. I'm like, no. Because you look nothing just. like the other one. I was like, well, how much surgery did this girl get? Because right. she just doesn't look nothing like, so she's an actual singer. Yeah. yeah okay. Have you ever met her? No, but I just thought it was hilarious. I didn't correct anyone because I, I love that. Oh, that's so <laughs> tight. I think it'd be really cool if you guys did like a collaboration and then maybe did a music video where you're just passing by right. each other and it's just like. Oh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I didn't correct anyone. It's like my favorite debate, like, really? Because like, I, I mean, it's, it's a rumor out there. I like that you're, you're a good sport about it. Mm -hmm. Now, with the first project to the second project, I know uh, with you working with the producer, I'm, I'm going to mess up his name. Is Gal Matias. Gal Matias. Yeah. There, that's, okay. I know you wrote to his music. Mm -hmm. How did you approach working on your second project? That one was completely different. With, with the first one, like, I had never been in a studio before. I reached out to him online, so it was much easier. We were just like working across two computers. This one, it was just a lot of sessions were set up, and I was more open to working with writers and other oh. producers, which okay. I was like super closed off to the first time around, which was just like a learning process. For sure. And I know that um, when even before like the initial EP had come out, I was reading up on you and how you'd kind of shut yourself out. Mm -hmm. from pretty much everybody when you'd moved to LA and was just making oh, music. Yeah, no, I stayed in my apartment for six months. That is I, so cool. I, I didn't go anywhere. Did you, was it just making music or were you Netflixing and you had your lean cuisines or? Uh -huh. I definitely had Netflix. But okay. I, um, I was mostly making music just like night and day. And, and was it, because the sound that you have right now, again, like Natasha was saying, is very unique, but I could imagine like if you're experimenting, were you going through like different vibes or? No, it was a really strange thing because I'd never written before. I didn't know if I could write or sing. It was a really weird mentality. But it just like came out. I didn't think about it. I couldn't listen to any other artists when okay. I was music. The only artist was Amy Winehouse for six months and that was it. Oh, we just, Natasha, you just talked about the the hologram tour with it? Yeah, Amy I Winehouse. How do you I feel about that? I don't know how I feel about that. Same. I, I because we were trying to pick our like favorite it. artists to see if, like, my favorite artist of all time is Biggie, how I would feel to see a Biggie hologram concert. Yeah. I think it would be cool, but I feel like the Amy Winehouse that they're profiting from then. I don't right, know how I feel about that. Knowing, like, she didn't like performing. She oh, she didn't? She had anxiety from that. Mm. Which. Right. And that makes a lot of sense. And actually, I'd love to talk to you because I know that some of the things I'd read, I was reading your Rolling Stone interview and how even with like the first EP, it wasn't meant to be performed live. Right. So with this new EP that's come out and then in future projects, is yeah. that something you're keeping in mind or like, yeah, eh. I mean, I think, I think being a performer changes everything. I, Urban Floor, I didn't, I didn't even think about being on a stage. Okay. Because Color of You, like, I don't even know why though, it was meant to be. Because I twerk to that one like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, girl. <laughs> and I will be tonight. Uh, yeah. When did you meet your voice? Ooh. Um, that's a good question. I, I had always wanted to be a singer, but I knew I couldn't sing growing up. Really? Wait, so wait, wait. You knew you couldn't sing? Yeah. So you were trying to? No, I never tried. I was just like, this is going to be my career, so this is really weird. And I don't know if I can do this, but I just, it was a matter of when, not how. Like, I knew okay. I figure it out. Oh, you willed it out there. Eventually, I'm going to be a singer. Just not now. Yeah. <laughs> At what, what age was that? Um, I mean, I had that thought process since I was like in literally first grade. And really? Wow. Is okay. that kind of why like with Urban Flora, we didn't see who Alina Baraz was for a long time? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people think I do it just for like the mystery aspect 
I mean, I like the mystery. Yeah, yeah. I think naturally, you know, I can't help it, but um, I just wanted to be known by ear first, just okay. so no one could say anything to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't get here because of anything else but my voice. Wow. So, what was the time before the songs and the music was released before your fans saw you? How long was that duration? Oh, it's a blur. Um, was it months, a year? While making our own flora because no one knew anything. I th yeah, I think it was what that's crazy it, I, when I found your Instagram randomly I was like wait a minute is Shh, this real this can't be real <laughs> oh my god wait but who knew did the family know did your close friends know obviously this is you and your music or well my family didn't know I could sing but like they knew I my mom is kind of my family so <laughs> she plays around in her room she, all the time <laughs> <laughs> she, she does. knew like we moved to California with that motive so she knew cool yeah that's I like that. that. It's so kind of like cool. the same mystery that The Weeknd gave us. We heard his music first yeah, I remember and just that. fell in love with yeah. him from that yeah. point yeah. forward. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Now, I, I've really enjoyed your collaborations with Khalid specifically. Yeah. Two songs. Yes. How's that experience been for like that, that chemistry for you guys in studio? That was just like inevitable with him. The first time around Electric, I didn't know him yet. Okay. And I had I had never intended for there to be another verse on that song, but he sent it back and it was well, amazing. And we ended up meeting on stage because we were both running late. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And Surprise. It was at my show, and we just met on stage singing Electric. It was so cool. That's how nice. funny. Now, speaking of Electric, I love how in the beginning of that song, that beat switches up. That, was that something that was already in production or yes, something that, was that came Jonathan. after? Jonathan. He's from Denmark. It's just like, I don't know, Scandinavian producers or something about it. Scandinavian sound. They're just, it's fresh. We got so many people looking forward to your concert tonight. I think of these artists that are recognizable now. You have a unique look. What's the last concert that you went to? And did you last get mobbed? I went to. Um, I go to a lot. I, I really like them. I think I was at a festival because I was performing at cool. Smoking cool. Grooves. Mm -hmm. And I saw Erica Badu. That's, oh. That was a pretty good lineup. I saw that. Yes, that was an amazing. Did I you get to meet her? No. You didn't? Is she on the wish list? I feel like yes. the, no, the I vibe. Love, I, I would love. Last time I saw, I got to see the Roots were playing. Uh -huh. That's one of my favorites. And they favorites. brought out Erica and Lauren Hill. Wow. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's that awesome. Very cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. I just know that you also had that experience sharing the same space as Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. I just speech Ella. <laughs> that was that was iconic. I have to ask because I know that we're getting wrapped up right now yeah. uh, because you have future projects, of course, in the making. Two questions here. One, are you working on music right now? Yes. Not right now. I'm on a bus. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't do both at the same time. Are you gonna put out the music and then not gonna say it's you and we're gonna have to figure <laughs> out that it is you? Are we gonna do that all <laughs> over again? You're gonna know. Oh, we're gonna know. Okay, okay good. Know. And then my second question, because we love Khalid. We had Khalid actually for our Jingle Bash last year. Looking forward to our Jingle Bash this year. But is there any potential collaborations we can look forward to with you? Oh, with Khalid? With Khalid or I maybe even other working. artists? Um, yes. I'm not going to say who, but yes. But it rhymes with Farika Fadu? <laughs> <laughs> Foreign <laughs> Phil? I would love that. Giance? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I do have one final question. Your, yeah. your tour's been highly successful, sold out. You've toured with Jameson, Cautious Clay. Mm -hmm. um, yes, for this show tonight. Mm -hmm. um, what does success look like for you in the long run? What's your happiness? Um, no compromise. Sacrifice is a different story, but no compromise. Mm -hmm. that's, that's happiness for me. Wow, wow, that's deep. That's that, was, that was a deep wow. way to end okay. it. Man, I'm like. Yeah, I got some goosebumps on that one. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. Lena Barrage, your morning mess. Bye bye. <laughs>